hey guys welcome back to my channel i don't really do reaction videos but i feel compelled to sit down and watch the reunion with y'all i literally woke up mad early to watch this and edit it in the same day and go to work and then post and so yeah so for context um i've never watched love island before at all this is the only season i watched with love island usa i mean like i don't really like dating shows anyway or reality tv like that much um but yeah will i watch another season probably not but this was just a moment in history for me i know all about the tiktok drama i know about everything that's been happening outside all of the leaks every like i just been so invested so let's go sit down and watch it together and just really feel the fucking vibes i don't know how i'm gonna put the actual thing on the screen with me but let's just see i'm out of breath because i'm like rushing but yeah make sure to like share subscribe I'm trying to get to 1k so, yeah. Okay, I got my iPad with me. <sighs> I'm so excited, so nervous. Um, I literally, this came out last night and I was like, I had to get off social media once it came out because I already knew, I already know Liv is about to come out swinging. She's not gonna be playing. I already have a feeling. All right, y'all, let's strap in. I'm gonna try to put it on the screen, but if I can't. I hope this doesn't make me cry. It's time for our big one. Welcome to Love Island USA, the reunion. He's pulling up. Tonight, 25 Islanders are reuniting in New York City. I'm not going to tell y'all how I feel about um, Aaron. Okay, Nicole. Who? Not my video pause. Listen, they said that Kayla and Aaron didn't even break up anyway, so I love a good one hour and 20 minutes is crazy. I love a good um, breakup story, but it's just not giving that. Like, she pulled up to the premiere or reunion, um, and her phone background was him and her. Oh my god, it's not the time for my Wi Fi to be acting up. Like, I'm literally about to watch on my phone. Sorry, y'all, bear with me. Mm. What do y'all think with Nicole and Kendall? What happened? Like, I really, the whole time, I felt like she was not feeling him. She, he wanted her, and that's just what it was. And whatever leaked, like, people have their right to be bisexual or whatever. Um, I just, besides that, I just feel like it never gave that she was feeling him anyway. It gave to me that she was trying to get to the end. And when feelings or not like that's what it gave to me i did hear that they showed the whole andrea andrea thing and i don't really get that i don't fuck with that bitch either right <laughs> she's just like me for real i can't stand kendall i'm sorry i love sabina virgo oh okay cordell fresh off the runway There's some people here that I'm like, when were you on the sh- Now she said I brought the receipts. Not they recreated the set, I'd be like, having PTSD. Andrea and Rob about looking at each other not saying nothing. Kayla look good though. She ate, she ate. Oof, the vibe is just like I'm your host, Ariana Maddox, here to celebrate love, fun. I forgot her name. Can y'all please stop doing her makeup like that? I did not care for Kane. What was his name? Is Kane here? There goes Koi's ass. <laughs> like, bye. I don't really like that girl. Oh yeah, Harrison. I could really care less. Stop. Did y'all see the red carpet photos where he was ashy? Stop. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Andrea, how are you doing? 
just fine. I can't spin. I'm sorry. I'm sitting. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you know, a lot of feelings. Oh emotions, my god. But I'm happy to see everyone, so it feels good to be here. <clears throat> Hannah, what has been the most surprising thing that's oh. happened since coming from the villa? The amount of hate that I got for my makeup. <laughs> really? Oh, it was. It was very hard. Oh. I feel bad now. I know I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> what I think it is is maybe her makeup is not translating well on TV. Cause they make they you there's a certain way you have to do your makeup for TV and then there's a different way you make it for red carpet and there's like different like that's what the makeup industry is like. So yeah, I think that whoever did her makeup failed her again. Um, I don't know if it's just her, but I would say if she's gonna pursue TV again, um definitely invest in someone that's like that's their expertise it's good to have those what is connor laughing at like, lean on them and stuff so like the friendships i'd have to say is the best <laughs> for sure i know it's love island but i still feel like friendship island where's is serena on them? yeah <laughs> <laughs> his favorite couples <laughs> yeah Period. Hakeem just looking like <laughs> not Kendall and um well, they looking awkward. Hi Nicole and Kendall. Hi. Hi. Kendall, we've been seeing you at the clubs. Are we popping bottles after this? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we might have to. Hi Janae and Kenny. Hi. Hi. Kenny, you're looking dapper. Janae, you're looking absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Janae, did you what kind of looking like today? that for a fact? Kenny did it all by himself. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Kenny. Why are you rolling? Hey, Leon Miguel. Did you get the cheese? It's deal. It's official. <gasps> hey, that's what's up. I want to try the flavor. I was so excited to see that Cordell asked you to be his girlfriend. Yeah. That's sweet. Yeah, I saw that. Hey, well, I thought they were already details. boyfriend and girlfriend after they left. <laughs> Uh oh. Kendall and Nicole are not cool. They're not on good terms, I can tell. Not Kayla crying already. I'm sorry, I fucked up. Seeing that literally broke me so badly. Yeah. Hmm. Not Andrea looking salty. Cool Can you guys believe he was on the show before? Yeah. Leo, I guess. What about you? I'm speechless. <laughs> Day is like, I didn't get to meet Odell Becca. <laughs> <That's> so cute. <laughs> I hear there's some news to report. We're pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> They're Aggie. <laughs> I wasn't keeping up with it, you know, with the show. Obviously, you know, people telling me about Janae, she's with Connor, then she was with Hakeem, then she was with you. So when she, you know, me and Dave was on live, when she asked me, she was like, you know, how you feel? I was like, oh, I was like, you know, it's a fake relationship. You know, so I genuinely came here today to genuinely apologize to both of you and just say sorry. I shouldn't have spoken in our relationship. After going back and watching it, I do feel like y'all have a genuine connection. I'm happy for y'all. Kenny, you got a great woman by your side. So I just wanted to say that. Thank you. So I hope y'all accept my apology. Period. Lee and Miguel, how have the two of you guys been since Lee? He was uh, trying to he's so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, it felt, I felt really so bad. was she. <laughs> Is anyone saying I love you yet? Girl. Hey, there's no rush for anything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we got to this point, you know what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes. I'm not, I don't need to push this you guys. Fair ass queen. <laughs> <laughs> Leah, Nicole, and Kendall, how are you two doing? Crickets. Oh, God. You can answer that one. Stop. It's, I mean, it's been a bit tough uh, coming on the outside. Um, but just try to communicate and work things. Don't communicate? You've not been communicating. You never have been. I want to make sure we're going to be to the space at that point. Uh -huh. Is this fake? Not 
saw her crying. Hello? Coming up next, as he could have been like, I lied to Nicole. And we are going through it. Because of my actions, that would be nice. I just saw you the last three fucking days in New York, and you haven't said that to me once. Y'all can dead the backseat right here. I did it. She said it, and I was the driver. Hello. Does she like him? I thought she did. Lie. Um. When I. When. When I got out the villa. Um. Kind of brief. Brief. Literally though, like what? I'm. I'm just gonna say something happened. Right. I should have. The leak. Told Nicole, like the full truth when it happened. Um. And I didn't. So I just want to say something because obviously the video is not okay. Like nobody deserves that. Everybody in this room can agree. That's okay. fucked up. Yeah. However, I think if you say you love somebody in the moment when you're telling me about something, you need to be honest. Instead of saying it's from years ago to someone you trusted, an ex girlfriend, and then I find out two later from Janae that it was in the hotel room before you go on the show to someone on a dating app is crazy. I was there for you. If I had to smoke, if I haven't said anything, because it's fucking awful what you've been through. But you've also like weren't honest with me about it. You're right. I, okay. I'm not 100% sure right. being honest with Nicole in that moment. Um, but I honestly wasn't ready. Literally, my life was turned upside down. All I wanted to do was just have you there, and I and I that's why I and said I that. I did that, and that's I stood by you. That. That's so she really didn't even care about the video. I think she just wanted the tr the tr the true tea. Damn, she really she liked him. I, mean, I thought she did. I'm trying to make sure to like let you know that I'm here without like being overboard and like being. You didn't check on me until I made a post on Instagram. You didn't tell me what you're doing before you post to girls on your Instagram story. You only check on me when it's like relevant for you. I'm sorry. Consistently texting you and these things, and then it was nothing, barely anything back. And then like it was just kind of cold. So I was like, hey, she just got home. Like, let me give her some space. So that's why those next two days I didn't text you. And two days that's is crazy. Why when you post made that post, I was like, I thought I was doing the right thing, giving you space. But obviously, I should have at least, like you said, I should at least just text you, hey. I'm here. I don't care I'm, about text. Why are you not like just being honest with me and having no, a real fucking I, conversation? She's just mad about the lie. I was going to talk to you if, if you guys aren't texting. If you just said I don't care about text, I'm stuck. In Nicole, have I not Leah. been trying to call you, FaceTime you, fly you out to Dallas? Okay, oh, hey, guys, sorry. Yeah, no, he's going no, through. No, I haven't no. gone through shit. No, sorry. No, no, no. No. Oh my god. I get both sides. Yeah, literally. You told me it's not embarrassing. So he did say I love you. You're letting people talk shit on me about us and you're not defending me one bit. You're not speaking the truth. Telling he hasn't even happened. defended himself. You've been letting me take shit for the past three fucking weeks. You've never once genuinely just been like, are you okay? this fucking shit happened and it led this domino effect it's embarrassing this just puts me in such a fuck position because i care about you too and i love you people are questioning that they how would you, you want him to go and prove it and make it right because he's reached out to a lot of us asking for like advice yeah. now you should go about i just it. think because he's going about everything publicly that happens i mean he went on a podcast he could have been like i lied to nicole and we are mm. going through it because of my actions that would be nice i, I completely admit like what the lie was on me like i'm not going to make excuses obviously it's a situation i've been put in but the last thing i wanted to do was lie to you and i'm sorry that i fell victim to that in that moment i have no like yeah, as a man like that probably I was like why yes, i did i admit i'm sorry i did but in that moment i physically couldn't tell you my mind was trying to process what my life was like i just don't get how you can't be honest with me in that moment if you love me as much I, as you say Nicole, you do. I, I wish it, I I wish it was a surprise. I it was your mm. exactly what she's I think the is like a trauma for her for sure. She, I feel both sides like crazy. He keeps on apologizing. You have 
have every single rise we have set, and no one is saying you don't. Does Rob just, know his shit leak too? Kendall really well, and I have not had a single conversation with him that's not about you. Literally. And, and, and I'm not saying hmm. that he gives him a right to lie to you and everything. You know, he's take, trying his best to take accountability, and it, it was a really hard situation. Oh, I don't do you know. think there's some people here that are like, what are we talking I mean, about? I feel like Kendall, like, seems like he's living his best life on social media, which is so great for you. But I feel like she's been going through it and, like, not posting anything and, and being ready to sell it. And then I you think just seem like Kendall's trying to drink really the pain away. I agree. Kayler. I love it. Janae's always we're like, let's get to the so, point. Like all, for everyone, like all of even us. though you've let the world think we're not together, we're still together. They never let the world think they're they're together. together. He never let the world. Even to me, it looked like they were together. Sorry. Yo, he looked like he's breaking down. What is Serena laughing at, girl? Why are you laughing? Do you feel awkward? Maybe, maybe that's why. What? I mean, basically, I too don't like being that lie to me. <laughs> that is a deal breaker for me personally. I will just come out and say, like, hey, mm, you lied, I'm done, it's over with. That's how I feel on it. Um, I do think Kendall really does love her, and I think that she really loves him as well. I just they need to figure it out. I've never seen a Dominican man like Kendall. Like, they don't make him like that over there. I'm a, as a Dominican woman. Robin Andrea, is this the first time that you guys have seen each other since the villa? Yep. How do you feel? I mean, I feel good. I feel like a lot of things have passed, and I think a lot of people like got on me, like, oh, like, aren't you upset that like he didn't leave with you and this and that? And I think, yeah, I mean, in the moment, like, emotions are so heightened in the villa, and I think a lot of people don't realize that. And you say Leah. one thing in the moment, that's how you feel. And then, okay, maybe like America will empathize, like in my situation, like what I'm I was so going through. I'm so sorry, but you in your after so said that I act out of emotion and you would never act that way. And that's all you're saying right now. And it's like kind of like a pretty cool. No, I agree. No, I do. You also said that she was two feet in your son. Janet. Damn, girl. I'm <laughs> Andrea. No, let's, let's start. Please, page four. Ready? That one generally, I know what she went through that. before you left. She went through a lot. So to call her two face of all people, she bit her tongue so many times. Yes, she talked shit about Rob. She admits it all the time. But did she ever talk shit about Rob to you directly? No. And you no. Know, and if you heard it in the dressing room, she never went up to me and be like, Rob, that's a piece of shit. But like, I she bet never you did talked that. shit about your, the person that did so you a certain way. way she did. And alive. you talked so a hell of a lot more. I did this dressing room on lives, too, so. To be honest. Many times. I didn't. You did though. When Miguel was asking we? who's with who, Leah said, Well, I'm single, and you said you're welcome. That's one. <laughs> Next thing is when Hannah was working out with Miguel at the gym, you said, Oh, this is the first time we've seen Hannah in the gym. Two, that's really rude. Hannah, how did you feel about that comment for Reposado? <laughs> so, <laughs> and, 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 and then when he came in, I was like, Oh, yeah, you know, I run sprints around the fucking building every day, right? <laughs> When you watch the show back, do you feel like you understood why the girls chose you as the one to go 100%. home? A hundred percent. And I'm like sitting back and watching. I was hmm. like, I see it for what it is. Like they picked Janae because they're friends with her. I'm like, valid. Like honestly, can I say that was not the reason? That no, really and I, no, wasn't and I, the reason. That's it was not. I feel like Andrea is Guys. trying to apologize, and I guess I just want to know where do we go from here? Just keep Leah's name out your mouth. Ooh. Boom, done. That's it. <laughs> All right, next question. Just, just like that. We gotta move forward. And by moving forward, we gotta move back to the back seat. <laughs> Define back seat. Back seat is up to the eye of the beholder. Yes, period. The back seat is up to the up eye of the, the beholder. Need to look up that that takes the Fifth Amendment. Isn't that That's one it. way? I want to talk. No, y'all can dead the back seat right here. I did it. Fuck it. But believe it. Define back seat. <laughs> what I did to Andrea. <laughs> she said it. And I was the driver. <laughs> I was in the truck. And I was in the passenger. <laughs> and Janae was on direction. <laughs> and Serena was on the music. And changing the oil. Oh, 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 goodness. <laughs> yeah. How you feeling? 
The Pizza Hut sponsorship? I don't know. That was a lot to take in. It was pretty testy at times. A lot of in there. I hope that everyone got it. I heard Connor's neck, so. Because I'm a fucking weapon. You're a fucking warrior, bitch. In the Big Apple, because work more is introduced. Let's take a look. Have fun in there. There's so many established couples. Uh, I just went in with a little bit more of a light heart. Came in with Andre. Um, I didn't really know what to expect. Is it weird looking back? You actually you made out with Cordell for a minute. Oh God. <laughs> Cassie, we got to see you as a bombshell this season, and you had a few. She's mad awesome. While you were in the villa, and you left with Rob. Where do you guys stand? Friends. <laughs> okay. Like we're friends. Like we just we um catch up. You know, we send TikToks to one another. That's all we do. <laughs> How was They're your Casa weird. experience, Catherine? Did you have fun while you were in Casa? I mean, in the outside world, I'm not going to go after someone who has a man. Like, let's exactly. be real. I'm not going to, like, fight over a boy. So I feel like being put in that position, it's kind of like you you have to do that. You know, and, um, honestly, Kenny and me had really good conversations. I will say the best part was the girls. Yeah. Like, that love was you the guys. best part. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, so, yeah. Like, even though you're there for the same reason, there's not that kind of It was not as a bombshell, I'll say. Uh, yeah, Liv, you were like, the first bombshell. I'm sorry, I came in. You. Like, Cass is hot. Like, I take my hat off to you guys at the end of the day. But bombshells are just as hot. I came in and I had to steal someone's man. On the first day, they just got this experience, and, like, I had to try and take it away with from With everyone her. there, too. With everyone, you. within six hours. Like, not even. I went in, chatted with every person in front of all of them. And then went, I'm going to choose your man. And you're left vulnerable. I hope you're okay. I don't think we're trying to take away from your experience. And I oh, think no, no, all, I know you're not. I'm no, I know. But I think, like, yeah, of course, it's not. It's hard to go in as a bombshell. It's hard to go in as a easy watching your guy walk in. Are you like, dumb? Like, we knew that walking She's missing in, the point, trash. but okay. So, like, we got that. But I think we also had our own thing as well. We are all going in with those She was, Liv was a bombshell, you cut her off, like, yeah. And it's like, we're here to find a connection going into Casa Amor. Granted, we could have handled things so much better, you know what I mean? But at the same time, like, being in Casa Amor, it's kind of like you're there to make a connection, and people are pissed that we make connection. I also, like, getting out of the villa was so fucking overwhelming. Damn, the cyberbullying number hotline. <laughs> <laughs> so fuck Nicole, Andrea, you like, came you know, in with her. Weird. Like your family, you know. We found your family. If we could all just come together and be a family at the end of this, that would be. Is this time. Connor's Before eighth cup of coffee? Yeah. <laughs> I'll say it like I, I lied to Kayla, straight up. I didn't tell her the whole truth. You know, I put my hands down Daniel's pants. I kissed her. I snogged her. What? I loads of romantic connections. Wait, then why didn't you her, tell me this two days ago when I was asking you in our hotel room? <laughs> <Why>? Hello. <laughs> Be honest with me and look me in the eyes when you say that, then. Don't look at Ariana. I'm tired of the fucking excuses. Take accountability and be a fucking man. I just saw you the last three fucking days in New York, and you haven't said that to me once. Why would you do that? Why? Why do you keep fucking lying to me and quit love bombing me? I you, Literally, I cannot believe I wasted my entire fucking summer on you, Aaron. I don't want anything to do with you. I never want to speak to you again. You're disgusting. And I do not deserve that. And you know what? I walked into the villa being so confident, and you beat me down, beat me down, beat me down, and I left a different fucking girl. It's not cool, and it's not fun. Queen girl pussy box. I like this out of her. That was beautiful, Kayla. Leave me alone. You, I, you do not deserve me. At all. You're disgusting and you're a piece of fucking shit. Like what? Ew. I'm shaking. I want to. Can you switch me seats? Of course. So, why didn't you tell me? I didn't have the balls. I didn't have the day. I didn't. Fuck you, Aaron. Please. You do not have the balls. 
the puck. I think every time I've talked to Aaron, I mean, I tell you the same thing every single time. Just be accountable. He's just not a day of the reunion, you know, bro. He is, like, you know, he struggles and he's got problems. He's not perfect, but he's not a horrible person. I do want to know because after coming, he did go on TikTok and was like, oh, um, I'm choosing mental health now. Like, he's going on a mental health journey. I don't know if they broke up after this, but I'm glad Kayla stood the fuck up. I saw you guys posting on only watched the parts that I needed to, like Casa Amor and episode six, which let's go back to that because in episode six, I kissed Akeem in a lousy challenge and Aaron oh. lost his shit. Um, he went absolutely <laughs> fucking nuts. You know what? I feel like in the villa, I was kind of in my own little la la land. Like, I didn't actually, like, clock actually who I am as a person. And I was really, really emotional. I didn't have my support system. And I think a lot of the times I underestimate myself. And I think I did a lot this summer. And leaving the villa, I have such a good group of friends and cheerleaders who have helped me understand that I do not deserve that. And now when they watch the shit, they are going to freak the fuck out. And okay, wait, hold on. No, that's, that is, no. No? My, hold on, hold on. My granddad passed away on the fucking day, on the morning of BFFs. Four hours later, I told you that as well. And you still went on BFS and you still shat all over me. You did not support me once. You know I was going through it and you know that's why I had to come off social media because I was going through the fucking thing with it. You know that fucking it affected me and you still went and shat all over me. So don't say that you were supporting me. But he shat all over her for months. Uh, 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 no, you can tell me how you feel, but you can also support, you can also support me. So don't say, so don't say that you were supporting me. You don't have to play the test. So sad, but why did you... There's literally a good BFS. Podcast. There's literally a BFF podcast where you can literally watch okay. it back. You do not deserve that. But how I can't be all over you whenever after I just watched that. I sent my condolences. I asked you about how your family was doing, and I asked you and I texted you. So don't say I wasn't there because Ooh. I was. I do generally from Bonner. They just shouldn't Why be together. Why didn't you tell me while we were in Fiji you were staying in my hotel room? I know you're gonna hate me for saying this, but genuinely, like. I was in a bad place when my granddad died. There wasn't a point where I felt like I could tell you. What about? And then when we broke up a week later, I felt so guilty because I wanted to get it off my chest. And yes, we spent the first day in New York together as well. But I didn't want to ruin the first day that we had together because we were so excited to see each other. So I was like, yes, I'm just going to wait until it comes to the reunion just to tell you. What? What I not ask questions was when it comes to that fire pit scene, Obviously, it was very controversial. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just show the fire pit scene in its entirety for all of you to see and make your own decision? Let's and we're see. gonna do just that. Thank you. No. Finally, please, no. uncensored from beginning to end. No way. Not Serena looking nervous. <laughs> Serena crying. Now live going. It looks like Liv took the driver's seat, like I said the first time. This shit is long. They didn't show on the producer in there talking. They did not want to choose. Wait, can we, do we have to walk in right now? Can we have like a little bit more of a chat? What, like five more minutes. Please. What about three? Two. One. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 just 30 seconds. seconds. <laughs> At the end of the day, like we just weighed our options and we made the decision and that's what it fell as. It was never like... Never, Regardless like, who we would have sent home, there would have been this not. backlash no matter who yeah. we sent home. And I want to apologize to you, Leah, because I know this whole thing has been massive and i very much dish it to people so i very much believe that if you dish it you've got to very much take accountability and i was wrong and i fucked up and i did 
take your words and I ran with them and I didn't hear her out and that is not okay. I should have given you the benefit of the doubt and heard both sides and then made my opinion on it and I didn't do that. Aaron, no, I love you. Would you like to apologize to the girls for calling them idiots after watching that video? Because after watching <laughs> that, do you understand what they're coming from? Mm -hmm. yeah, you called them okay. idiots for sending the Andrea home when the obvious person was Janae. Remember that? Well, I apologize then for that. I said it because you weren't in the couple and the other girls were, and that's why I was just like, from our point of view, the way that we chose Hakeem was <coughs> who's in the strongest you couple. You went around oh, no. planting it in everyone's ear. I never did that. You were the most, you were more bothered than me. I, you talked about it more than I did. You were dramatic at the fire pit. You were yeah. dramatic telling everyone what I said when, when I literally told you exactly what the fuck I said every time and when I'm sat here too. So what's the point, truly? Are you just like a gossiper? Are you a bitch? Like, what's happening? Can I say something? Yeah, Rob, what would you like to say? Uh, your words. What did she say to you? She said, I want to try. You left that bit out. Yes, it's my fault. I'll own it. I ran with those words. Right. But do not sit there now, up there and be like, oh, you kind of brought it in. I didn't. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, hey, this is my fault. Hey, this is my fault. Shut up. Oh. What were you going to say? I mean, she kind of like said what I was going to say. Like, that conversation also, is what led can, to our conversation. Can I, I wasn't going to go and talk to me about all that without... Oh, like some more you asked That's us why you asked us both yeah. because, because to not I just, talk to Leah about it before you can I please talk when I'm talking Rob please finish um all, all I'm saying is like no it's, I'm not blaming you guys for it from my perspective the girls had their POV they went with their logic and it was just different from the guys it was just a different decision but then like I heard this and I was like you know what to be honest I want to know because I still oh y'all like, didn't like even end up together time. anyway I like, if I want to do that I want to know like just four minutes left. What's left? Andrea still wants that man so. and very comfortable. I use them. Um, okay. Let's discuss because what if you already watched the reunion, comment down below what y'all think. If you kinda watched it with me right now, let me know what you think. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna edit this and put the videos together and whatever without like getting a copyright issue. But yeah, overall I just feel like we could have got a little more tea like I feel like a lot of people like when I woke up this morning and I checked Twitter people were like no um we didn't need the whole segment broken down and I agree we really didn't need it because I guess it was 30 minutes but I was like skimming through it um I always felt like Liv was the one controlling the conversation that's what I saw the first time that's what I see the second time um I'm glad that they showed that they tried to ask a producer for help because they didn't want to do it, period. So that was sweet. Like, I, it never gave that those girls were mean or anything. So I really didn't care for that whole section. Um, Janae was saying all this time outside of the island that um, she was going to roast Connor. She was going to tell him about himself. And she did not get to. Or they didn't show it. So, yeah. But I'm glad Kayla told Aaron about himself. And... Like, I just needed a little more. And Harrison could have just stayed his ass home because he didn't say a damn thing. And Kane should have came and said. And that's just the tea. Um, it's awkward as fuck. I don't know. I don't have anything to say. I'm good with this. Watching this that season of the show and leaving it at that. Um, I don't know how they're going to pull off another season. And I don't know if I would ever do a video like this again. But if I do... You don't know, I guess, or maybe not. But I hope you like this video. It's kind of different. I usually post hair and life advice videos. Uh, so you can watch those on my channel. I'm actually posting a different video already today for a hair video. So this is like really unplanned. Hopefully I can edit this in the same day as I filmed it. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you liked the tea as much as I did. Follow all their little social medias. I love them. Guys, this morning, Serena, I guess, just put out that she has a fucking 
deal sponsorship with Beyonce. Virgo, Virgo collab. Absolutely. I wish all these people the best. That they get their bag. That they get some social media training. Maybe try to capitalize off this moment. Get some brand deals. Get your bag. Get your money. And just move forward with life. Like Andrea especially. She should just do like a dating app commercial or something. Like embrace it. You're a single body. Just embrace it. Like let's move on from the awkwardness. Okay. And hopefully everybody that needs the mental health check-in gets the mental health check-in that they need. Because I've seen a lot of people on that show that needed to book a therapy session immediately. So, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Let's get to 1K. And I will see y'all in the next one.